First question, are you ready to innovate? Are you ready to unleash the innovation superpowers that you have within yourself and within your organization? You know, the executive mindset, they're really focused on making the trains run on time and trying to avoid failure. Where for the entrepreneur, they're really focused on, you know, how can I create success? The way that I define innovation is that innovation transforms the useful seeds of invention into solutions valued above every existing alternative. And I like to draw this distinction between invention and innovation because I see them as two separate things. Innovation really requires adoption and it requires also that it delivers enough value to displace existing solutions. And so I like to talk about innovation as three components uh, being characterized by value creation, value access, and value translation. And, and education, you know, the more disruptive something is, the harder it will be for people to understand it and see how it fits into their life and the more education you might have to do even before you launch the product. Failure can turn into success just by finding the right way of translating the value for people and helping them see how it can fit into their lives. Because if you have the answer for how you're going to overcome the fatal flaw when you go to try to get funding for your idea or you go to try to get resources to staff up to implement your idea, you're going to have a much ch greater chance of success in moving it forward. It's the nine innovation roles and it really looks at you know, all the different ways that people can participate in the innovation process and the different roles that people naturally fill to make successful innovation happen. Uh, when you look at creating innovation, innovation is all about change and, and it causes change for lots of different parts of the organization, whether that's human resources or finance or marketing. At the same time, you have to balance the internal change that's going to happen because of your innovation with the external change that you're going to pose on the ecosystem around you. You know, you know what is your number one barrier to entry? And uh, the overwhelming top choice was organizational psychology. But one of the things I really like to talk about is that often, you know, big ideas start small. And the agency was saying, oh, we'll do this big TV campaign to support it. And he said, well, what if we uh, use those little cards that you find back by the restroom and bars and restaurants and things like that to test, you know, different concepts and see what people react to. Volkswagen did a campaign where they installed a piano on the stairs and there's a video that goes along with this too but what you see throughout the day is that nobody's taking the escalator everybody's taking the piano stairs so then I started to think well what would the power be in your organization if everybody had a little black book of innovation if everybody was capturing the ideas that they had when they had them forget about failing fast focus on learning fast so instrument your projects for learning, instrument your projects for rapid adaptation, rapid learning and rapid ad adaptation. And so if you look at the, the little ideas becoming big ideas, you know, it starts to become an idea around, you know, how do you create an army of eyes within your organization and how do you harness that army of eyes for the productive growth of your organization.